Hi everybody and welcome back. Gee, it's been a while, right? Yeah, well, unfortunately I don't have too much time on my hands to do what I want and do script mechanic as much as I want to, but here we are. Here we go with another video. I did a thing. I made a series of small aircraft, small light aircraft. This is the Husky plane. It is a light aircraft used for all kinds of stuff. As you see, we're on a mountain. It is used for, you know, mountain flying, landing in the snow. You see the skis on the on the wheels. But uh, unfortunately, I wanted to. I I made this uh, this tile, but um, I couldn't I couldn't paint the ground white. I don't know if it's not possible or if I was just too stupid. Uh, but yeah, it's it's supposed to be a snowy ground, so you you see what's the use for this for this airplane. Uh, right, so I made a I didn't only make this plane, I made a whole series, like four planes of this kind. And uh, now I want to showcase all of them to you. So first up is the husky with the skis. So uh, first of all to get in uh, we have a small sensor here under the wing and if you stand on the wheel a small window will open and this this middle section here uh, this no, that's a, a little bit lower uh, that is the seat block so you can just aim at it and sit so the controls are quite easy so as you can see we only have two buttons and a switch and to be honest it's even easier because you don't really need the switch the switch lowers the flaps which you really only need for a very very short takeoff so you don't even need it here to be honest and well I know I, I built the flaps in but yeah I recommend it don't just don't use them and also I have you know you can it's not on or off you can scale the, the thrust of the plane but really uh, you should fly it at full power all the time uh, because it's, it's very slow it only flies 90 or 100 blocks per second so and any any slower it becomes very unresponsive so uh, maybe at final approach you can go down to 80 but yeah just fly full throttle and uh, yeah nothing bad will happen so let's just take this plane off and take it for a little spin I just hold button number one until there's full throttle you see uh, th the gauge also is at full and you see that that is enough I mean, I made this, this tile with the mountain, and in the tile maker it looked so much bigger. So, yeah, I had a little problem with putting this plane up there, you know, the landing. It was kind of difficult. So yeah, but uh, apart from that, it, it flies very nicely. You see, I'm, I'm not touching anything right now. And the reason for this is, is uh, there's quite a lot of logic in there. Um, it's not, I'm not directly connected with the control surfaces here. Uh, rather than the plane gets my control inputs and uh, it just holds the attitude it has. So if I go into a roll, then now it will try to hold this this bank angle and also the pitch angle uh, because you know in a turn you always have to pull up a little bit to uh, to keep the plane uh, at a level flight without losing any altitude but uh, this plane does it by itself and also we have the automated rudder as is procedure you know uh, to you know to tighten the turn 
if we don't have this rudder, the plane will of course still turn, but it will always slip a little to the inside, towards the inside of the turn. And we don't want that. We want a nice turn, you know, always flying straight ahead into the airflow, and that's what the rudder is for. So the plane detects if there's a slip in any direction and adjusts the rudder accordingly. Right. So I think now we can take this plane back to the landing on this little island. It's also a tile I made. It's an airport island, also with quite a short runway. But of course, for such a slow plane, it is more than sufficient. Um, yeah, the only problem is it's a little, you know, it's a little slow on the controls. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of planning ahead when you fly this plane. You have to know where you're going and have to know where you want to go and then adjust your path accordingly. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like this in real life. You can't just, you know, fly however you want, like it is with the planes and scrap mechanic normally. Um, this is how you would fly a, a light plane like this. Like, you know, gentle, gentle on the controls. Not too much of a bank <laughs> like this now. Uh, yeah. So, and you have to roll out early of the turn, otherwise, you overshoot your target. So, now I can uh, reduce the throttle a little bit, but yeah, 80, 80 is plenty. And now we go for a, a not so straight landing on this nice grass strip. Right. Yeah, and then I, I waited way too long to cut off the throttle and this <laughs> this is the result here nice good let's let's delete this quick and f forget about the whole incident and move on to the second plane i got which is yeah of course it's the same plane just without the skis this is just your normal your normal little husky work plane that you can use for uh, you know, banner towing, parachute, uh, parachuting, you know, bringing the parachute people up to altitude, all that kinds of stuff. It's a very, you know, small and light plane, but it's, it's quite powerful. Um, especially this version in scrap mechanic, because also the throttle is not directly connected to the throttle controls, or rather the, the power of the motor is not directly connected to the um, throttle controls to buttons we got here um, but is it is connected to uh, to a thrust to a throttle control system uh, that will try to hold a certain airspeed so this gauge actually shows the the target airspeed which is uh, should be 90 95 I don't know at the moment so that's the speed that the plane is trying to hold no matter the attitude. So if we go into a dive, uh, it will adjust. It will adjust uh, the throttle and, and still fly 90. And also we can go into a very steep climb and it, would, it will increase the throttle and still hold the same speed. Right. So you cannot only use this plane for, you know, banner towing, parachuting. You can also use it to glide a tow, and that is exactly what I did. I wanted to make this for a while now, you know, a plane that uh, that tows a glider, but never really gotten to it. So, until now, until now. So, that's the next version of this plane that I'm going to show you. An automated tow, tow plane. Because, of course, you have to either control the glider or the tow plane. You cannot do both unless you are in multiplayer. Uh, so I thought, yeah, you want to you want to fly the glider, and get towed to altitude by this tow plane. So let's load in the tow plane, which is which is frame-wise, it's the same plane, but. Uh, on the inside, there's, you know, there's, there's different stuff. Because it's an automated plane, there's no, 
there's no controls, there's no um, there's no way for you to get into this plane because there's no point for you to get into this plane because you see there's no there's no seed it's just full of logic and that's because it flies by itself of course so I want to show you how to fly this plane and fly the glider so first wha what we have to check is which direction do we want to turn the plane will take off and then enter a turn in either direction and left or right and then we'll just circle on the spot to altitude and yeah I think it's it's because of the torque of the propeller uh, it it has problems circling to the right especially on takeoff so I recommend whenever you get the chance circle to the left and I think we because we have a lot of trees here I'm gonna put this plane a little bit further because it will start the turn immediately after takeoff so I think this is plenty of a takeoff run and hopefully we won't crash into the trees when we take off so these are the only controls you need to set this plane and this glider up for takeoff first we go from left to right first you push uh, the switch which extends a piston and brings some distance between the plane and the glider second you press the white switch which will connect the rope between the glider and the plane and third you will push the button that disconnects the piston from both planes and now we got a tow plane that is connected by a rope to a glider you get into the glider we're not really into the glider um, the, this is a this is a seat block and now we are ready to go as you see we only have a switch and a button um, <coughs> to fly the glider we don't need any of those switches or buttons they are only for the tow controls so the glider is WASD and nothing else the switch will activate the tow plane and start the tow and the button the tick button will disconnect the rope so let's do it activate the plane Okay, did I actually set it to, to right turning? Apparently. And as you saw, it it has a very problematic takeoff, so sometimes it will crash into the ground when you when you set the right hand turn. On the left hand turn it's not like this. It's a very good and very smooth takeoff. But yeah, everything went well and now we have to just try our best to follow the tow plane to altitude. So I guess this is enough for now, just to demonstrate uh, the tow plane glider combo. Naturally, you can you can go way higher with this and glide a lot longer. But for the demo, let's just let's just disconnect here. So press button two, and this not only disconnects the glider, but also sends the the tow plane from a climb into a descent, still circling to the right, which will make it end up more or less uh, where we took off so you shouldn't have problems to to find the plane after you have landed with the glider so you can delete the plane and not make a mess in your world also uh, the planes are connected via the you know the, vi the Wi-Fi modules the wireless modules so pressing oh. yeah that <laughs> that was my lack of concentration pressing the the switch one again will disable the tow plane so now it has landed apparently in the water so it has watered and of course there's my glider I get into the glider again and press switch one and now the tow plane is deactivated so let me just get back to the island and uh, delete the tow plane Alrighty, we had a nice swim and we're back on the airfield island. 
And uh, now I'm going to show you the last in the in the Husky series and the reason we have uh, some water on this map, because there's also a float plane version of this plane in real life and also in scrap mechanic now. And that's actually my favorite because it looks it looks so cool with the floats, you know, and, and the struts and you know the the wheels sticking out but but doing nothing but are exp extendable so you can land either on water or on land it's just a, such a cool plane i love it all right it's the same same here you get on the float get under the sensor and then you can get in the plane right the control scheme is of course the same we have the flaps and the the throttle controls uh, and also a fourth switch, of course, for the for the gear. But of course, now we don't need the gear, as we are in water. So now we can just take off, and then try to land on the land again. And apart from the from the floats, it's of course it's really just the same plane, just modified. So let's circle around here. Let's have let's have a look at the map, shall we? Let's not just circle around and, and land again, but you know, have a little have a little scenic flight. <laughs> I can show you the the mountain airfield again. which is, isn't really an airfield, which is just a, a plateau, a plateau that's way too small, really, to land a plane on it. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And apart from that, you know, it just, it's just uh, the standard tiles you got. I uh, just slapped some, some of the tiles onto this map uh, just to make it a little, you know, a bit bit more crowded and also there's an airport um, I don't know by whom it is right now I will I will put his name on the screen um, yeah so you know and so you can download this airport tile if you want to cool so now let's circle back to the airfield and attempt a landing of course with the wheels down And as you see, because of the rudder, you can shallow turns are really enough to to turn this plane. You don't you don't need a lot of bank angle. And also, if the runway is too short, just get out of the plane. It will stop the propeller, and you know shorten the the landing run. And of course, it's not a problem if you overrun the runway in this plane because it's a float plane. Righty, so I guess that wraps up this video for today. I showed you everything I got uh, for now. And yeah, hopefully I will have more time now to do more scrap mechanics, but yeah, I, I cannot promise anything. I'd love to, but you know how it is. So until next time, stay safe. Stay, uh, stay healthy in these times, uh, these times, and yeah, see you next time. Bye.